Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the implementation of 1 is to 16 demultiplexer using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. We need to implement 1 is to 16 demultiplexer using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer. We know that the multiplexer is nothing but 1 is to 2 to the power n with n selection lines right only one input 2 to the power n outputs with n selection line this is the basic structure of the demultiplexer this n selection line will decide the 2 to the power n number of outputs from the one output we are getting 2 to the power n output that is decided by n selection lines so this 1 is to 16 t multiplexer means it is nothing but 1 is to 2 to the power 4 and 4 selection lines right 1 input 16 outputs are available that is controlled by 4 selection lines 1 is to 4 mean 1 is to 2 to the power 2 with 2 selection lines right so this is having 1 input with 4 outputs and controlled by the 2 selection lines right suppose we want to the, the implement 1 is to 16 multiplexer that is 16 outputs we need means here we are using 1 is to 4 demultiplexer so 4 outputs are available but here we need 16 outputs so we need to use 4 numbers of 4 numbers of 1 is to 4 demultiplexer we need to use 4 number of 1 is to 4 demultiplexer so that 4 into 4 will get 16 outputs right so for both the case only one input here four selection lines are available but here we need only two selection lines right so in this the we we'll, let us consider s3 s2 s1 s0 these are all the four selection line in the 1 is to 6 multiplexer in that the least significant bit s1 and s2 is used for the selection line of 1 is to 4 demultiplexer for all four demultiplexer we can use s1 and s0 as a selection lines right Suppose 0, 0 mean it will select the Dmax 1. 0, 1 mean it will select the Dmax 2. 1, 0 means Dmax 3. 1, 1 means Dmax 4. So the selection line will select out of 4 it will select any one Dmax. Right. What about this another two selection lines? Right. Here we are having four Dmax. In order to select these four Dmax we need one more Dmax. One more Dmax is needed. So that Dmax will select out of 4 Dmax it will select any one right. So here we have 4 Dmax that is controlled by least significant bit of the selection line S1 and S0 that 4 D multiplexers are controlled by one more Dmax is needed. For that one more Dmax we are using this S3 and S2 that is the most significant bit right. So we will see the block diagram you are able to understand clearly so that is our basic concept we will see the description the 1 is to 6 d multiplexer have 16 outputs to select one of the 16 output the circuit need four selection lines each 1 is to 4 d multiplexer require two selection lines right so connect two least significant bit s1 and s0 to select the four of 4 is to 1 multiplexer right that what we discuss s1 and s0 right the step 3, step 2, second step is connect one more 4 is to 1 demultiplexer such that it 4 outputs are routed to the data input of 4 demultiplexer. Here we are using 4 demultiplexer that is controlled by one more 4 is to 1, 1 is to 4. It is a 1 is to 4 demultiplexer, right? 1 is to 4 demultiplexer. For that we need to connect the MSB, S3 and S2. Right now we will go to the block diagram how we are connecting. So totally we are having 5 Dmax, 4 Dmax that is controlled by one more Dmax. Now we will see the block diagram. See this, this is the Dmax, second Dmax, then third one, fourth one and fifth one. Right. So that these 4 Dmax are selected by one more Dmax, this is this one. So that is named as Dmax 1. This is the fifth dmax this dmax will select the remaining four dmax so that it is named as dmax one right the data input is given 
only one input. It is controlled by the selection line S3 and S2, MSB, right. Suppose it is 0, 0 means the Y0, output will be available in Y0. 0, 1 means output available in Y1. 1, 0 means Y2. 1, 1 means Y3, right. So this Y0 is connected to the DMAX2, right. This Y0 is connected to DMAX2. Y1 is connected to DMAX3. Then Y2 is connected to DMAX4. Then Y4 is connected to DMAX5, right. So this DMAX will route the inputs, route the available inputs by to this 4 DMAX, right. 0, 0 means first one. 1, 0, 0, 1, second. 1, 0, third. 0, 1, 1 means fourth, right. So these 4 DMAX are controlled by this one more DMAX with one data input. This data will be given to any one of this DMAX based on the selection line, right. Now, these four are controlled by this DMAX. Now, we will see this control of this DMAX one by one, right. So, this is DMAX2. It is named as DMAX2. So, when the selection line MSB S3 and S2 is 0, 0 mean this DMAX will be enabled, right. This DMAX will be enabled. Remainings are disabled. So, it got the input. Remaining inputs are 0, right. In this, again, here we have two selection lines are available. These two are nothing but this is S0 and S1. It is connected to all the DMAX. The selection line is connected to all. Here 0, 0 mean this. First, you know, uh, data D0 will be enabled. 0, 1 means D1 will be enabled. 1, 0 means D2 will be enabled. 1, 1 means D4, D3 will be enabled. Or remaining, all remainings are zeros, right? So, the selection line 0, 0 means the DMAX2 will be enabled. In that again, two selection lines are available, four combination based on that, this any one of the data will be enabled. Remainings are 0. Suppose the data line, the selection line 0, 1 means DMAX3 will be enabled, right. In that again, is connected with S0 and S1. 0, 0 means D4. 1, 0 means D5. 1, 0, 1, 0 means D6, 1, 1 means D7, again based on the selection line. Then, the selection line S3 and S0, 1, 0 means DMAX4 will be enabled. Again here, it is connected with the MSB selection line, S0 and S1. It is 0, 0 means D8, 0, 1 means D9, 1, 0 means D10, 1, 1 means D11, right. So, then the selection line, this 1, 1 means this fifth DMAX will be enabled. Again here see this, this S0 and S1 is connected. 0, 0 means D12. 0, 1 means D13. 1, 0 means D14. 1, 1 means D15 will be enabled. In that case remainings are 0, right. So we are having 4 DMAX so that we are getting 4 into 4, 16 output. That is controlled by one more DMAX. 1 is to 4 DMAX. That DMAX is controlled by selection line S3 and S2. These four DMAX are controlled by the selection line S0 and S1, right. So that we are getting 16 different output. Now we will refer the truth table so that we are able to understand clearly. Now we will see the truth table. Now we refer this truth table. This is selection lines S0, S1, S2, S3. These are all the 16 different outputs starting from 0 to 15. 16 different outputs are available. We already know that S1 and S0 is connected to all four DMAX. S3 and S2 is connected to the one more DMAX. In order to control the other four DMAX, this S3 is S2 is connected to connected to the one more DMAX. Right. So in this S3, S2 is 0. If it is 0 means what happened? This DMAX2 will be enabled. DMAX2 will be enabled. That is, we got the data from D0 to D3, right? So, S3, S2 connected to the main DMAX. If it is 0, the first DMAX, that is second DMAX, DMAX2 will be enabled. The data from D0 to D3, right? In this, again, there are four combinations. If it is 0, 0, the data, first data will be available. D in available in the first position. 0, 1 means second position. 1, 0 means 
third position. 1, 1 means fourth position. All remaining data are zeros. These DMX are not enabled. Only this DMX2 is enabled. We are getting the data from D0 to D3 based on this selection line S1 and S0. Right. Suppose if it is 0, 1, next combination. 0, 1 means DMX3 will be enabled. So that we are get the data from D4 to D7, right? So this D4 to D7, this D0 to D3 is the first Dmax is disabled. Third and fourth Dmax also disabled, right? Only the second Dmax is enabled. In that 0, 0 means data available in fourth position. 0, 1 means fifth position. 1, 0 means sixth position. 1, 1 means seventh position, right? These remainings are zeros or not enabled this dmax2 is disabled only 3 is enabled 4 and 5 also disabled right in this we will discuss 0 0 4 combination 0 1 also 4 combination then we will go for 1 0 another two combinations available 1 0 if it is 1 0 what happen if 1 0 means dmax4 will be enabled that is we got the data from d8 to d11 right 1 0 and the, again it is based on these four selection lines. 0, 0 means 9th position. 0, 1 means 10th position. 1, 0 means 11th position. Sorry, eighth, this is 8th position, 9th position, 10th and 11th position. This DMAX2 is disabled. DMAX3 also disabled. Only DMAX4 is enabled. DMAX5 also disabled. Right? So it will enable only DMAX4. That is got the data from D8 to D11. So one more combination available, 1, 1. If it is 1, 1, DMAX5 is enabled. We got the data from D12 to D15. Again in the selection line S0 and S1. 0, 0 means data available in 12th position. One, 0, 1 means 13th position. 1, 0 means 14th position. 1, 1 means 15th position. This DMAX2, DMAX3, DMAX4 is disabled. Only DMAX5 is enabled. We got the four different output based on this selection line, right? So this is the implementation of one is to six multiplexer. We have got the 16 different output by using four DMAX, one is to four DMAX. There are four DMAX, right? So in this video, we discuss implementation of one is to 16 D multiplexer using one is to four D multiplexer. We discuss the design procedure, logic diagram and truth table. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive. The link is given in the description box. Thank you for listening.